This device uses the Iridian MicroStream filter line and smart capno line to monitor end tidal CO2. The Iridian MicroStream end tidal CO2 provides multiple sampling cannulas, making it appropriate for use in intubated and non-intubated adult and pediatric patients. The filter line and smart capno line side stream system draws small samples of gas from the patient's airway via a nasal nasal oral cannula or airway adapter and pass these gases through a solid state infrared sensor located away from the patient's airway that measures CO2. The Iridian MicroStream filter line is intended for intubated patients while the smart capno line is used to obtain CO2 samples from non-intubated adult, pediatric, and neonatal patients. Before attaching the airway adapter to the breathing circuit, verify that the adapter is clean, dry, and undamaged. Replace if necessary. The sensor generates infrared light and beams through the sample breathing gases and determines CO2 concentration by measuring the amount of light absorbed by the gases. MicroStream sampling lines are designed for single patient use and are not to be reprocessed. Do not attempt to clean, disinfect, sterilize, or flush any part of the sampling line as this can cause damage to the monitor. Dispose of sampling lines according to standard operating procedure or local regulations for the disposal of contaminated medical waste. To connect the filter line or smart capno line to the unit, open the CO2 inlet port cover by moving the cover downwards. Put the fitting at the end of the side stream tubing over the CO2 inlet port connector. Turn the fitting clockwise to tighten. The filter line set is intended for the CO2 monitoring of intubated patients. Place the airway adapter at the proximal end of the airway circuit between the elbow and the ventilator circuit Y. Do not place the airway adapter between the endotracheal tube and the elbow as this may allow patient secretions to accumulate in the adapter. The smart capnoline nasal and nasal oral cannulas are intended for monitoring CO2 in non-intubated patients. Oral nasal sampling cannulas are especially valuable for patients who are prone to mouth breathing since most, if not all, of the CO2 is exhaled through the mouth. If a standard nasal CO2 sampling cannula is used on such patients, the end tidal CO2 values in capnogram displayed will be substantially lower than the actual CO2 levels present in the patient's expired breath. Place the oral nasal cannula in the patient's nostrils and adjust the tubing comfortably around the ears. Displaying CO2 measurements. Once setup is complete, press the CO2 quick access key to initiate CO2 monitoring. The numeric CO2 display appears on the screen and displays the message initializing. This monitor also auto initiates the zeroing process when a change in operating conditions detected, such as ambient air temperature or barometric pressure. In addition, when an occlusion is detected, the device will purge the capnography sampling line on its own. The CO2 display gives the current end tidal CO2 value, the concentration of carbon dioxide detected at the end of each exhalation, and after a delay of approximately one minute, the patient's respiration rate in breaths per minute, identified as BR. Press the CO2 key to activate or deactivate capnography. As soon as capnography is activated, the capnographical waveform automatically appears on the screen. Respirations, which are measured through changes in thoracic impedance, automatically transitions from impedance pneumography to capnography measurement. The capnogram waveform is inserted automatically on the waveform display window. You can enable or disable CO2 alarms and set upper and lower alarm limits. Turning on or off the no breath alarm, configure the non-breathe alarm time limits. Use the navigation keys to highlight and select the CO2 numeric display to display the CO2 parameter control panel. For patients with slower respiration rates, a slower sweep speed will make the capnogram easier to view. You can adjust the speed using the CO2 parameter control panel.